Hello everyone, welcome to this question number 35 and now we have started with CAT 2018 questions. Here is the first question from slot 2 of 2018. Points A, P, Q and B lie on the same line such that P, Q and B are respectively 100, 200 and 300 kilometers away from A. Cars 1 and 2 leave A at the same time and move towards B. Simultaneously, car 3 leaves B and move towards A. Car 3 meets car 1 at Q, car 2 at P. If each car is moving in uniform speed, what is the ratio of speed of car 2 to car 1? I've told you before as well that for an aptitude solution or a logical solution, visualization is extremely important. I have done that many times in the previous questions in this series itself. So let's just visualize the process once. He says from point A, 100 kilometers away I have P, which is here. 200 kilometers away I have Q, that is further 100 away from P is Q. And 300 away from A, that is further 100 away from Q is point B from which C3 starts. Now the point is that they all start moving simultaneously, but car 3 meets car 1 at Q and car 3 meets car 2 at P. Of course, car 2 is running very slow, right? Because by the time car 3 will reach P, then it would be reaching P, but it would have already met car 3, I mean C1 would have met car 3 at point Q. So somehow, how would they move? Initially, car 1 moves very fast, it reaches Q and meet C3 here. So can I say when car 1 has covered 200, in the same time car 3 has covered 100. So I can say when the time is same, the ratio of the distance is the ratio of their speeds or speed of car 1 is twice of car 3. That is the first situation. Now they further keep on moving. Let's forget about C1 now. But C2 and C3 have to meet at point P. When C2 and C3 meet at point P, by this time, I see that C3 has covered 200, but C2 has covered only 100. So can I say C2 covered 100 in the same time C3 covered 200? Or I can say speed of C3 is twice of C2. Now C3 is twice of C2. And twice of C3 is C1. So can't I say that four times of C2 is C1? That's what the question is asking us. What is the ratio of their speeds? One speed is four times of other, so the ratio is one is to four. And that's how I get the answer to this question in an aptitude way. Could have been done very easily. I hope this is understood. All the very best.